Hello Year 6. I hope you've had a fantastic day. Um, it's been wonderful for me today because I've managed to speak to some of you and find out how you're getting on. Oh, it really made my day to speak to you. And I have to say, I am so impressed with all of the work that you are already doing and how hard you are trying. Really, really well done to you all. Thank you also to those people who have sent in work already as well. Wow, I've been blown away. You always blow me away. Oh, you make me so proud. Please don't worry if you haven't had chance to complete some of the work and if you haven't had chance to send it in. That doesn't matter at all. All I want you to do is to try your hardest. That's all that matters. So thank you all Year 6. You're absolutely brilliant. So, happy Tuesday. Um, it's great. It was great yesterday to see how well you've done with the factors and common factors. So today we're going to move on to common multiples. Now, a multiple is when you multiply two factors together and you get a multiple. So it's going to be quite similar to what you did yesterday but looking at the multiples instead. Now, some of you, when I spoke to you, said that you didn't quite get onto the challenge. I'd expect that. So please don't worry if you didn't get onto the challenge. Just do the first couple of questions, if that's what you can do. And if you want to move on to even more, then that's fine too. So please don't worry about that. Okay, so what did you think of the gadgets? Did you enjoy cracking the code? And did you enjoy creating your spy name? It looked to me like you had quite a lot of fun with those activities yesterday. So what I want you to do today is I want to see your powers of persuasion. So we're going to be looking at some persuasion texts. The first thing you're going to do is practice your power of persuasion. So you are going to try and persuade people to do different things and you'll see those in activity two. Then, oh dear, there's an awful house for sale and it looks absolutely as if it's falling down, as if it's derelict. I don't know who'd want to buy that house. I need you to write a paragraph to tell me why I should buy that house. I need you to persuade me about all of the good things about the house. Wait until you see the photograph of it. I'm not sure what you're going to find, so I can't wait to see what you pull out to tell me why I should buy that house. Then, for activities three and four, we are looking at a multifunctional mobile phone text. Crikey, that was hard to say. <laughs> so, I want you to read the text. And then I want you to think about the key features of that persuasion text. So there's a table for you to fill in and I want you to give me examples of the different features. It's all really easy to follow in the booklet. So um, ha once you read it and have a look at it, you'll see what I mean from it. But remember, if there's any questions, anything at all, you email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's the morning activities. In the afternoon, we're having two sessions again. So, fidget spinners. We are going to evaluate the fidget spinners that we made last week. And I've put on an evaluation on a PowerPoint for you to fill in and write about your fidget spinner that you made. Now, part of it, the first part of it says to put a photograph on. Well, we're not going to be able to do that because they're in school. But what I'd like you to do is to draw a labelled diagram of your fidget spinner. And we will add the photographs from school at a later date. Then there's some questions that I want you to answer about making your fidget spinner. I would like as much information as possible about that fidget spinner. What went well, what you had difficulties with, what you'd improve on. Really tell me everything about that fidget spinner. You've all done so, so well with it. I can't wait to read what you write. Once you've done that, now, 
This is only if you want to. You don't have to do this as well. But I've attached a persuasive piece of work about whether fidget spinners should be allowed in school. I thought it linked in really well with the English that we're doing today as well. So if you want to, I'd like you to write a persuasive text to me to tell me why or why not fidget spinners should or should not be allowed in school. I think you'll have a lot of fun thinking of the reasons for that. And then to finish our day, um, I've attached the Joe Wicks workout, the 30 minute workout for you to um, have a try at. And um, I wish you the very best of luck with all of that. So year six, really enjoy your Tuesday. And remember, only do as much as you can. I'm so, so proud of you all. If you can, send me the work in, 